Hello guys, in this video you are gonna learn how to configure the static routing, DNS and DHCP. Let's build the network topology where I will use 3 routers, 3 switches, 3 server and the 3 PCs. Let's build that. I will connect all these things. Now I'll rename this server 0 as web server. Also server 1 as DNS server. Server 2 as DHCP server. Now I'm gonna configure the web server. Open this. Go to desktop. IP configuration. Now it's in the static mode. Let's configure it. So let's give the IPv4 address. I'll give it as 10.10.10.1. Press tab for automatically fill up the subnet mask. And default gateway will be 10.10.10.0. Go to service tab. Under service section, go to HTTP. You will get this page. Click on the both HTTP and HTTPS services. So edit this index.html. I will change this Cisco packet tracer as YouTube. Click on the save. Yes. Now close this. Now open the DNS server. Click on the desktop. IP configuration. Now let's give the IPv4 address. I will give it as 10.10.2. Subnet mask. Default gateway will be 10.10.0. Go to service tab under services section go to dns you will get this page click on the dns services and they give the name as www.youtube.com leave type as a record and they give the address of the web server which is 10.10.10.1 click on add the now close this now let's configure the DHCP server. Open that. Desktop IP configuration. Give the IP per address as 20 series. Where this is a different network. So that's why we're gonna give the different IP address, which will be 20.20.20.1. The subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0. And the default gateway will be 20.20.20.0. Now go to service tab. In that, go to DHCP, enable the services, leave the pool name as it is, change this default gateway as 20.20.20.0 and give this DNS server as 10.10.10.2 and the IP address which will start from 20 series, so leave as it is and the subnet mask also. The maximum users or the maximum PCs that can give IP address is 512. Click on save. Now close that. Now we're gonna verify the DHCP server which is working or not. So open the PC0. Go to desktop tab, IP configuration. It's in the static. So when I click on the DHCP, it will automatically fill up all these things which is IPv4 address, subnet mask, default gateway and the DNS. So I'll click on DHCP. It's requesting IP address. Now it's successful. Now it gives all these things. DNS server will be 10.10.10.2 10 10 as it is. And the different IPv4 address, subnet mask and the default gateway. Close that. Now we're gonna do the DHCP for this third LAN using the router 2. So open the router 2. Go to config tab. Where the router 2 is connected to the switch through FA 0 slash 0, which is a fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So go to that. Click on the port status. Now we have to give the IPv4 address as the default gateway. The default gateway of this LAN will be 30.30.30.0 and the subnet mask. So we need to configure the DHCP. For this router where it will assign the IP addresses to the PCs. So go to CLI. So we need to give the commands. Type IP 
dhcp pool and give the pool name as lan3 let's type network and give the ip range which is 30 series 30.30.0 and the subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 press enter now also give the default router default router and the ip address which will be the default gateway that is 30.30.0 where this ip address should not assign to any other pc where it is already taken by the router press enter and the next command will be optional which is dns address that is 10.10.10.2 where i should assign this ip address to the pcs press enter exit from this now close that now we are going to verify the dhcp in the pcs so open the pc1 desktop ip configuration it's in the static mode click on the dhcp it's requesting ip address it's successful now so also give the ip address subnet mask default gateway at the dns server so open the pc2 desktop ip configuration dhcp it's also successful we configured all the pcs and the server now the only left thing is the routers so let's configure router so open the router 0 go to config tab now the router 0 is connected to switch through fa 0 slash 0 so go to fa slash 0 click on the port status now the ip address will be default gateway that is 10.10.10.0 and subnet mask now the router 0 is connected to the router 1 to serial 2 slash 0 which is c2 slash 0 so go to serial 2 slash 0 click on the port status and give the ip address which is 40.40.40.1 press tab which will fill up the subnet mask now close that now open the router 1 go to config tab we need to configure the fa0 slash 0 serial 2 slash 0 and serial 3 slash 0 so go to fa0 slash 0 click on the port status now give the default gateway as the ipv4 address default gateway will be 20.20.20.0 and the subnet mask so we need to configure serial 2 slash 0 click on the port status and give the ipv4 address as 40.40.40.2 and the subnet mask also configure serial 3 slash 0 click on the port status now give ipv4 address as 50.50.50.1 and the subnet mask now close this router 1 now open the router 2 go to config tab so we already configure the fa0 slash 0 as you can see here so we need to configure serial 2 slash 0 click on the port status and give the ipv4 address as 50.50.50.2 and the subnet mask close this so we configure the router pc and the server so the only left thing is the static routing let's configure the static routing in all these three routers so open the router 0 under routing section go to static which is in the config tab go to static so we need to give the network mask at the next stop so where the router 0 can access only this LAN which is LAN 1 of the series 10 series and the router 0 can't access this LAN 2 and LAN 3 which is 20 series and the 30 series. So to access that we need to give the network of that series which is 20 series which is the LAN 2 20.0.0.0 and the subnet mark will be 255.0.0.0 so to access the 20 series which is a LAN 2 from router 0 to router 1 through 40.40.40.2 so give the next stop as 40.40.40.2 click on add to access the LAN 3 which is a 30 series it is not directly connected to router 0 so it is connected to router 1 so to access the router 2 from router 0 to router 1 and router 1 to router 2 so give the network as 30.0.0.0 and the subnet mask will be same so the next stop will be 
40.40.2 why because the router 0 is not directly connected to the router 2 so it should access through the router 1 click on the add now the both 20 series and the 30 series is added close that then open the router 1 so go to static the router 1 can access the 20 series or the LAN 2 but it cannot access the router 0 or the router 2 which is a 10 series and the 30 series so we need to add the network address of the 10 series 10.0.0.0 and the subnet marks will be 255.0.0.0 so to access the router 0 which will pass us through this IP address that is 40.40.40.1 click on add and to access the 30 series and the subnet mask will be saved to access the 30 series it should pass through this IP address which is 50.50.50.2 click on add now let's close this so open the router 2 go to static now to access the router 0 and the router 1 which is 10 series and 20 series and dot zero dot zero dot zero and the subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0 so to access the 10 series it is not directly connected to router 2 to router 0 so it should pass through the router 1 so we have to add the 50.50.50.1 click on add to access the LAN 2 which is a 20 series so it should pass through the this IP address which will be the same so click on add now close this now let's verify this by sending the packets so i will send the packets within the network from web server to dns server and dhcp server to pc then pc to pc i will delete this now i will send the packets to the different network from web server to dhcp server which is in progress now it is failed for the first time it will fail now do it again from web server to dhcp server which is successful now I will send the packets from web server to PC1. For the first time it failed. I will send it again from web server to PC1. Successful. Now I am going to send from PC0 to PC1. Successful. From PC2 to DHCP server. Successful. So the only thing is left is DNS. Now we're gonna verify through the PCs. Open up the PC0. Click on the web browser. So now we're gonna give the IP address of the web server that is 10.10.10.1. Press enter. Now it gives. I will close this and I'm gonna open that again. Web browser. Now I'm gonna searching through domain name which is www.youtube dot com click on go now it's successful so i will check in another network which is from the pc2 go to web browser then i will type www dot youtube dot com now it gives the same page thank you for watching guys